How's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay, so this was one of those where I kind of sat down and was like, what am I going to talk about this time? And then was like, ah, okay, I've one sort of thing I could talk about this time. So I'm going to go with that because it was the first thing that kind of popped into my head and sometimes that's how I like to roll. <laughs> um, so as I think I sort of kind of mentioned, um, I've been doing fitness boxing with my Switch. <laughs> Um, I don't know like how much I sort of mentioned that I've been doing it, but um, basically this time last year um, I, we were going into our second month, uh, second, yeah, second full month of being in lockdown. I was still furloughed um, and obviously with my joint conditions being stationary as much as I was, um, was like Basically, my knees were becoming problematic, my hips were becoming problematic, um, so I needed to do some form of low impact exercise just to sort of get my body moving a little bit more um, to kind of counterbalance uh, being motionless so much of the time. I mean, um, as much as I don't always have fun doing my day job, um, you know, there, there are certain benefits to doing the job where you are a little bit more physically active, um, like the one that I do, um, because, you know, if you, if you are suffering from chronic pain, but not necessarily like the, the kind which makes it impossible for you to do anything, then doing that sort of low impact, um, continuous sort of exercise that you do sort of get from a job where you're on your feet all the time, helps keep your joints moving, help keep your, your muscles going and stuff like that. So it's not the best thing, but, you know, low impact activity um, along those lines is, you know, almost kind of a necessity if you are in the position I am in with your chronic pain. Obviously, if your chronic pain is sort of beyond that point, then, you know, it is a completely different story and you do have to think about things in, in a different way. Um, and, you know, low impact exercise isn't necessarily going to be as beneficial for you as it is for somebody in my position, where actually I do still have a certain um, range of motion and certain uh, range of movement. And it's more about me trying to protect that um, so that I hopefully don't move into that stage where it's going to be a bit more problematic. Not, you know, I'm, I may still... I may still, just because of the nature of the condition that I have, it might be impossible for me to kind of avoid sort of moving into that sort of stage. Um, but as it is at the moment, doing all these sort of like things that I do do to sort of keep my body active and keep my body moving um, helps a lot. It helps reduce the pain. It helps uh, maintain the strength in, in uh, my muscles and stuff like that, which is very important when you have hypermobility, which is one of the conditions that I do suffer from. Um, because hypermobility can cause your muscles to um, weaken and lose their strength a lot faster um, than they would otherwise. It's, it, it can also make it harder for you to build strength up in those muscles. Um, I'm not sure if I'm on that sort of end of it, but I know I definitely, I know my muscles definitely weaken very quickly if I'm not keeping on top of the, the, the level of activity that I do. Um, so I know it's it's very easy to sort of go from being very active to being unable to be very active um, when you do have certain conditions going on, not necessarily through your own fault. Um, so uh, because of that, when my knees and my hips and, and stuff are starting to get very complainy after going over a month without my usual level of activity, um, I decided to look on um, my switch to I was actually looking to see if I could get like a just dance kind of thing um, I was looking for it on the switch rather than because I I do actually have just dance on my Wii U um, but my Wii U is a bit more of a nightmare to 
get switched on and set up properly, whereas the, the switch is just pick up and go. Um, plus, I, I wanted to be able to use like the small screen and yeah, I, I basically I wanted to see um, if I could get Just Dance on the switch. Um, I didn't find Just Dance on the switch. I think that, I think that is one, but there like there was no demo or anything like that. Um, or I don't know. I I don't know why, but Just Dance wasn't what I found. What I found was the fitness boxing, um, and it had a three day demo. So I was like, okay, let's give it a go for a few days, see how I get on with it. I really enjoyed the demo. Um, so I was like, okay, this is like 30 quid and I wouldn't normally sort of just, like, I think that was the thing. I think if I had found the Just Dance, I think it was a price tag on it that was um, putting me off. Um, Especially because I do have it on, on the Wii U and I could always use the one on the Wii U, but um, like the, there's something about the fitness boxing that um, was just easier on, on my joints and sort of get me back into things. Um, and they like they do the warm up and the cool down as well, which you don't get with Just Dance. Um, uh, so it just it kind of made more sense to me to sort of go for that option at that at that point in time and having done the three sort of the three day trial I was kind of like okay I'm going to take a chance I'm going to spend money on this um and a few days ago I passed uh 365 consecutive days so <laughs> I have 100% been doing it for just over a year um at this point and I do it daily um even if I've been working if I'm working, I do it after work. If I'm not working, I do it before my shower in the morning so that I can like be fresh for the rest of the day. Um, and I've definitely noticed, I've definitely noticed a difference, um, both in terms of like my body is a lot more toned. I mean, obviously, you're not going to get the same kind of impact from doing something like this. And then you would sort of going out and doing like swimming or going out and doing bike riding or going out going to the gym which obviously the gyms aren't open at the moment um or going to like a cute fit class or doing a cute fit video you're not gonna necessarily get the same um quality of of workout because you know it's uh it is what it is um it is you know yeah as i said it is what it is but um in terms of yeah my body is a lot more toned not all of it like my back very toned <laughs> and i know that's kind of like a weird thing to sort of focus on but like a few months ago i was like so the way the mirrors in my bathroom are kind of set up um it's possible for me to sort of like see a reflection of my back um by looking in one and then like seeing the reflection of it in the other and but like the first time I did, I was kind of amazed at just how good my back looked. <laughs> and I know it's kind of like really weird, but I could see that it was looking not like muscular, muscular, but looking really toned um, and looking like, you know, a good looking back for one kind of a better expression. And it, it like made me really happy to sort of see that. I mean, I knew my arms were looking fairly toned um I knew like the backs of my legs um and around my thighs where I've always had sort of had kind of a tone problem um just because as I said you know my muscles weaken very quickly um so it's kind of easier for this like the skin is always kind of looking a little bit wrinkly and bumpy and you know untoned um and I, I've, I've noticed that looks a lot more toned so yeah, it definitely help, has helped um, with like the level of toning that my body does actually have. Um, it's definitely helped with a lot of the joint pain. Um, obviously, just by the nature of the conditions that I have, I'm not going to be able to avoid it completely. Um, like I will just do like one stupid thing in work and suddenly that joint is going to be playing up for the next few weeks. But because the the fitness boxing is so low impact 
I can keep doing it and I can sort of work around um, whichever part of my body isn't necessarily with it, um, which I wouldn't be able to do. And I, I know this because it's the reason I stopped doing the Just Dance with the Wii U is um, like something that is a, a bit more high impact, like like the dancing. Um, if like something is hurting a lot, it's hard to work around it in order to get the level of um, exercise you need or yeah, the, the level of in, exercise you need from that sort of impact level for it to make a difference. Whereas the fitness boxing, it's even when it's a bit more of a workout, it is a lot more gentle on like your whole body. Um, so like if anybody out there does sort of like suffer from chronic pain, uh, certainly if, if it's like the high mobility side of things, I would definitely recommend the fitness boxing as a nice low impact kind of exercise to do. I mean, some of the moves are a little bit more annoying than others. <laughs> like when it's making you, cause like the Joy-Cons don't register movements equally. because They're looking for that kind of a snap because it's, it's basing it on what the, the movement of the Joy-Cons are doing. And there are steps. Like some of the moves you have to like step and stuff and it doesn't always register the steps correctly. Um, so that can be a bit more annoying and obviously that's a little bit less low impact um, as well. But like for most of the routines, it's fairly low impact. It's fairly, um, I mean, I've managed to do, so my left ankle has been playing off a lot recently. I kind of not too sure what's going on with that. Um, I did have some stretches from the podiatrist when I was seeing the podiatrist in order to get um, new insoles sorted uh, for my work shoes. Um, and I think the stretches that I did for that has done something to my bad ankle. Um, but even with my bad ankle being what it is and sort of playing up quite a lot, I've still been able to work around it in, in order to keep keep doing with the daily exercise, um, even when it's been doing like, the steps, even when it's been like the things that have been catching it a little bit I just sort of like reposition myself a little bit I can keep going and I can yeah it, it, yeah it's it's weird um because I've obviously I've tried doing exercise things in the past um for getting on top of my fitness and this is the first thing that I've kept up for this length of time um without having to take a day off um because that's the thing with me the second I take a day off from these exercise things, I find it very difficult to go back to doing it again. Um, I'm not sure if it'll be the same now that I've had like a full year of doing it, but as long as I don't need to take a day off, I'm going to keep doing it every single day because as I said, it's very low impact. Um, I'm currently doing like the half hour routines because I'm doing it like after work and I don't necessarily have the energy to be doing like the 45 minute one, which I was doing whilst I was furloughed um so like just doing like a half hour routine a day which is anything from like 22 minutes to 31 minutes um or 35 minutes sort of depending like mostly they're around like the 27 minute mark so it's mostly sort of like a full half hour um where you do like two different routines and do like the warm-up the cool down at the end and it's uh, it's, it's very relaxing that's the other thing that I've been finding about it is even when I sort of like get in um, from work, I want to do it. Um, and when I sort of start doing it, even if I'm like, oh, that particular routine is annoying one and I don't really want to do that particular routine, I still feel more relaxed for having done it. Um, but again, is isn't something I've really experienced with doing exercise in the past, which sounds really bad. Um, and I think the kind of the difference um, for this for me has been that it is low impact that um, yes yeah, some days it sort of uh, is a bit more energetic than other days um, like this today for example it was very more cardio focused and at the end of the first routine I was sort of like breathing quite heavily but it didn't take me that long to, re to recover afterwards. I know some of that is like my fitness level is a lot better than it was. Um, but I don't sort of get to the end of doing it, even like after work, I don't get to the end of doing the exercising. Um, I have no idea what that noise is outside. Uh, it is rather annoying. 
um, <laughs> as I would say, um, I don't uh, get to the end of exercising after work and feeling bad for having it. Like, I don't feel like exhausted. I don't feel, oh my God, why am I putting myself through this? I get to the end of exercising after work and I feel more relaxed. I feel better. Um, it's actually quite good if I've had a stressful day at work to come back and do like the fitness work thing. And it kind of like, it, it's it's very chill. It's, it like calms me down quite a bit. This is like, and I know it sounds weird, but this is the first time where I've ever really gotten that from doing exercise. Um, normally exercise just makes me feel exhausted and I don't like it and I don't want to keep doing it. But there's, so, there's just something about the fitness boxing which I've been able to do it for an entire year. Um, I've got to the end of that entire year. I feel better for it. I look better for it. Um, I mean, maybe some of it is just nobody else would really notice. Um, but I feel I look better for it. Um, and I feel like it's something that I want to keep doing and I am going to keep doing it. Um, so now, because that noise is going on outside, I'm going to wrap this one up. <laughs> I do apologize. I have no idea what they're doing. I think they might be pruning the trees or something. I don't know how much of that noise is going to come across and be on this. Um, but I also want to not have to re-record this. So I apologize that the end of this one is probably going to have a weird noise going on in the background. And I'm, I'm sorry, but yeah, that just is what it is. Uh, so I hope you found this one sort of interesting. I hope you're looking forward to seeing whatever it is I'm going to be talking about next time and I will see you next time. See ya! <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!